being offensive in tennis is about a lot more than hitting a big shot. You need to be aware when your shot has pushed your opponent back. Once they're back, often more power is not going to simply win the point. Nadal does a great job right here of pushing Alcaraz back, recognizing it, and following it up with a short ball that's awkward for Alcaraz to step in and pick it up from the backhand side. Whereas in the Sousa point right here, he is on the offense against Nori, and he really can't hit it any bigger. He's hitting great shots, and Nori's getting to all of them. Because of that, he ends up coming forward, and he's a little uncomfortable at the net and misses the volley. So if you're uncomfortable coming to the net, you need another option of winning the point. And so that's where hitting that short ball, having them hit something that's awkward, and now they're in a weak position in the court that allows you to hit deep behind them, either causing them to hit a weak reply or maybe an outright winner as Federer is demonstrating in the point against Monaco. Tommy Paul does a great job of recognizing that he has pushed team deep into the court, but like many players today, he's uncomfortable at the net and doesn't do enough with the volley. Given that team is in such a weak position, he could have also gone with a short ball to team's backhand, forced team into an awkward position, and then had a deep shot to follow it up that could have been a winner or been ready to put away the next shot from a weak reply. Federer does a good example of bringing Monaco forward and then finishing up the line with a deep reply. It didn't have to be that fast, but given the positioning, he's able to win the point. So we are trying to finish with the big shot when we can, just as Alcaraz and Monfils are showing, but if that's not enough to finish it outright, you need to have another way to keep yourself on the offense, and win the point.